Let's talk about how to succeed in a math class. The first thing that we need to do is get into the right mindset. And the first part of that mindset is recognizing that math is not a special skill that some people just get and other people just don't. Math is a skill like any other. Anybody can improve at math. The best comparison I can make is to compare math to a foreign language. Sure, some people have an aptitude for learning languages, but we can all improve with practice. And we don't become fluent at a foreign language just by working on it two days a week. We really need to be doing math every single day, or if not every day, say five days a week. Another part of the correct mindset for learning math is how we look at mistakes. If you're doing it right, you should be making thousands of mistakes this semester. We need to look at each of those mistakes as an opportunity for improvement. Instead of getting frustrated, ask the question, what went wrong? Why did what I tried to do not work? What should I be doing correctly? And how can I not make that mistake next time? That is how we improve and we grow with everything that we do. Okay, now that we're in the right mindset, let's talk about some in-class behaviors that can help you succeed in your math class. In my many years of teaching math, I've noticed the students who succeed are those who are able to eliminate distractions. Math is a subject that takes a lot of focus, so if you can, turn off your cell phones. And also try not to get too distracted by the people around you. The next in-class behavior that's going to help you out a lot is to take thorough notes. If your instructor writes something on the board, it's probably useful enough to write down in your notes. And if you feel like you regularly miss things in class because you're writing things down and you don't hear what your instructor is saying, there are tools that you can use. Uh, one being a smart pen. These are devices that can record what your instructor is saying and also record what you're writing down at that time so you can play back your notes later. Last, and this may seem obvious, but make sure that you show up to class and you show up on time. And this isn't just so you don't miss material. It's also because your instructor will notice if you're not in class or if you show up late. It's always best if your instructor sees you in a positive light. So if you do miss a class or are late to class, make sure to send your instructor a polite email just explaining why. All right, we've talked about some in-class behaviors that can help you succeed. Let's talk about some out-of-class behaviors. So first, you have these thorough notes that you took in class. It's time to review those notes. You should do this right after class or maybe the day after class. If you take too long to review your notes, it's likely you're going to forget a lot of what happened in class. So it's best to do it within a day or two. Since our strategy for learning math should be similar to our strategy for learning a foreign language, maybe one way to do this best would be to review your notes on non-class days. So if your class meets two days a week, you are either meeting in class or reviewing your notes four days a week. And as you're going through your notes, make sure to jot down any questions that you have or any confusion you have about your notes. Because what you're going to do is you're going to take those questions and you're going to ask your instructor later or you're going to ask a tutor later. We'll talk more about that in the next bullet point. The next thing you're going to want to make sure to do is to study for quizzes. The best way to do this is to review any homework problems that will be covered on this particular quiz. And as you review your homework problems, ask yourself some questions. Ask yourself, why are we working this problem in this way? Why did we set it up like this? Make sure that every step along the way makes sense. And maybe most importantly, ask yourself questions about this problem. Like, what would happen if I changed a number here and there? How would that change the problem? And write a couple of different homework problems for yourself by changing a couple of numbers in the problem. See what kinds of different challenges you run into, and if you do run into an issue, you can ask your instructor or a tutor about that problem. All right, so those are some strategies for studying for quizzes. You should also make sure that you study for tests as well. All of the above are good strategies for studying for tests, but I would also include that most instructors provide some kind of a practice test or a test review. Make sure that you look through those practice tests and test reviews because instructors will often throw problems into those that will be similar to ones from your actual test. One more thought about things that you can do outside of class to help you succeed in your math class, you should think about time management. You should create a weekly schedule for yourself that includes when you sleep, when you eat, when you work, when you're in class, when you need to take your dog for a walk, and most importantly, when you're going to study for your math class. Because we can't get around it, learning anything, especially math, takes time. You can improve at math and you will improve at math, but you need to set aside time to be able to do that. All right, so we've talked about the necessary mindset for succeeding at math. We've talked about in-class behaviors that can help you out and out-of-class behaviors as well. The fourth thing that I want to talk about is how to get help. We all struggle with math and we all have questions. And no matter what we're learning, it's important to get help from an expert. So here's some things that you should be doing. The first thing that you should do is email your instructor. And make sure that your email just doesn't say something like, I don't know how to do number five. Try to give your instructor a little bit more information about what you're struggling with. 
Make sure to include the section and problem number in that email. Explain what you've tried or explain why you're confused about the problem. And make sure to proofread your email. The next thing that you should do to get help is to visit your instructor's office hours. These are hours that your instructor has specifically set aside to help students with problems, so you should take advantage of those hours. You typically don't have to make an appointment, so you can just walk right in. But you should make sure that you have some questions prepared. This would be a good opportunity to ask your instructor any questions that you have about the notes that you took in class that you had reviewed uh, as we discussed in the previous points. You should also visit a tutor. Most students will have free access to tutoring somewhere on campus. Many schools have free access to online tutoring as well as in-person tutoring. So learn what's available to you and make sure you go use it. My last bonus tip for how to succeed in the math course is something that I definitely didn't do a good job of when I was a student. It's get to know your instructor. Or more specifically, make sure that they know who you are. It is best if you are not just a random anonymous student in the eyes of your instructor. And there are a lot of ways to do this. Of course, as I previously mentioned, going to your instructor's office hours is one way. But don't be afraid to stand out a little bit. If you sit in the front row of your class, your instructor will definitely notice you. You can also do little things, like use a different color paper when you turn in your homework. You can use a lot of colored pens when you do your homework. If you like to draw or doodle, you could put a small drawing or doodle on your homework assignments. I've had students put stickers on their homeworks as well. But most importantly, just try to be yourself. And try not to be intimidated by your instructor. We're all just people too, and we want to make connections with our students as well. But if your instructor knows who you are, it can only help you throughout the class. So okay, let's go back. We talked about a lot of things in this video. We talked about the appropriate mindset for success in a math class. We talked about in-class behaviors and out-of-class behaviors. We talked about how to get help with your math class. And my bonus tip for you was to get to know your instructor as an individual and make sure that they know you. I'm going to scroll back up to the top and say that I hope that this helps you out. If you put in the time and the focus and the hard work into your class, I'm sure you're going to do great. Good luck.